Ryan Rosenblatt for SB Nation Soccer, and this Wednesday the final round of CONCACAF World Cup qualifying gets underway, which means we get our look at the best team in the region, Mexico, and we're going to get to see them at Estadio Azteca, where 100,000 partisan fans will be awaiting them up at altitude. Now, who are the poor souls who have to head up there to Mexico City to take on El Tri? Well, that would be Jamaica. The reggae boys drew the short straw and are going to have to go play Mexico in the opener this Wednesday and it will not go well for them. There's no doubt that Mexico are the best team in the region. In the semi-final round, they outscored their opponents 15 to two. They won the 2011 Gold Cup and they're the highest ranked team according to the FIFA rankings in CONCACAF. And one of the scary part, Mexico might be getting better. As good as Mexico have been over the last 18 months, they've had issues. They've had issues in central defense, they've had issues in central midfield, and they've had issues trying to stay fit. But it looks like some of those are starting to get better. They may be figuring some things out. Chepo has started leaving home some of his older, more problematic defenders. And that means they have a young, very talented, very good back line now. You also have players getting fit and playing more. Look at Chicharito, who's playing more often for Manchester United than he was earlier this season. Giovanni Dos Santos made a move to Mallorca this summer, where he's now playing regularly, which is a complete change from when he was stuck to the bench in Tottenham Hotspur. Well, Andres Guardado may be in the form of his life right now for Valencia, if you look at what he did over this last weekend torching Barcelona, you have no doubt right now who is the best left winger in all of CONCACAF. It's Guardado, and while they may have an issue on the right wing where Pablo Barrero is still absent with a torn ACL, Javier Aquino will fill in just fine out there. Best of all, Mexico may have figured out their problematic central midfield. That's been a problem for them ever since the 2011 Gold Cup when they tried to move on past their older players in Gerardo Torado and Israel Castro. They haven't quite found the right pairing to put in the central midfield. They've tried lots of guys, and none of them have stuck. But last week in their friendly against Denmark, they may have found their pairing in Carlos Salcido and Hector Herrera. Salcido was very good in the middle, kind of commanding things, being disciplined, and being the hard man. He's a tough player in there who doesn't have an issue putting a tackle in, while Herrera has great skill, and most importantly, great range. His ability to cover ground and pop up in different places all over the field is invaluable, and the two of them complement each other very well. It looks like they're probably going to get the start against Jamaica, and that could be the start of a partnership that doesn't just carry Mexico through CONCACAF World Cup qualifying, but carries them into the World Cup in 2014. Now you look at that Mexico team that is already the best in CONCACAF, with an improving defense, a healthier, more fit attack, and now, with their solved problem in the middle with Salcido and Herrera, if that one sticks, it's very, very scary. Good luck to you, reggae boys. You're definitely going to need it. There's no doubt Mexico are the favorites. They might be getting better. That's scary for not just Jamaica, but all of CONCACAF. Follow along with their match, their development over at FMF State of Mind, while you get everything from the world of soccer over at SB Nation Soccer. Thank <laughs> you.